fraction one hundredth. We just mean one divided by one hundred. And if we're counting in hundredths, every hundredth we add on, the numerator goes up one. And we can keep doing that in hundredths until we get to 99 hundredths. And then if we add another hundredth on, we have a whole one. Hundredths and tenths are linked. The card has been divided into tenths. With one of those tenths, we're going to divide that by 10. Each one of those pieces is one hundredth of the whole piece of card because we'd need a hundred of those to fill it up. One tenth divided by 10 is one hundredth because we'd need 10 lots of one hundredths to make one tenth. So if you remember that 10 lots of a hundredth is one tenth, and 10 lots of 1 tenth is a whole one, that means that if we divide every one of those tenths by 10, each tenth is filled with 10 hundredths, and the whole card is filled with 100 hundredths. My favourite way of looking at hundredths is to use a hundred square. The blue square here has been divided equally into a hundred pieces. Each one of those squares is one hundredth of the whole blue square. If we fill a whole row, we have ten hundredths. Every time we fill a row, we've added on another ten hundredths. And when we get to the last line, starting with ninety-one hundredths up to ninety-nine hundredths, we add one more, we've filled the whole thing. 100 over 100, 100 hundredths, which is 1. 1 divided by 100 is 1 hundredth. And we need 100 lots of a hundredth to make the whole thing. Let's have a look at counting back in hundredths. If we have a whole one, and we take away one hundredth, so we're counting back one hundredth from a whole one. We take that away, you can see we have ninety-nine hundredths left. If we have a whole one and we count back two hundredths, you can see we have ninety-eight hundredths left. And if we have a whole one and we count back three hundredths, we have ninety-seven hundredths. You can see why it's really useful to know your number bonds to a hundred when you're working with hundredths. Remember that each row is a tenth. So ten hundredths is the same as one tenth. And each of these rows is another tenth. And we need ten of those tenths to fill the whole thing. One tenth of a hundred is ten. 100 divided by 10 is 10. Remember that a whole row of 10 hundredths is the same as 1 tenth. If we have the whole thing and we take away 10 hundredths, we're taking away a whole row. And that leaves us with 90 hundredths. Those hundredths can be expressed as tenths. What we've done there is take away a row of ten hundredths, which is one tenth of the whole thing. And what we have left in tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of ten hundredths, which is the same as nine tenths. If we have the whole thing and we take away twenty hundredths, that's two rows of ten hundredths, which leaves you with eighty hundredths. Pause the video, see if you can express those fractions as tenths instead of hundredths. Twenty hundredths is two rows of ten hundredths. So that's two tenths. And you're left with how many tenths?
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tenths is the same as eighty hundredths. This time we have one take away thirty hundredths. Pause the video, have a go at solving that bit. We're taking away thirty hundredths, ten hundredths, twenty hundredths, thirty hundredths, which has left us with seventy hundredths. To take away thirty hundredths, how many rows of ten did we take away? And how many rows of ten are we left with? Pause the video, express those fractions as tenths instead of hundredths. We took away thirty hundredths, which was three rows of ten. So we've taken away three tenths. And how many tenths do we have left? We have seven rows of ten, so we have seven tenths left.